Hey everyone, I want to talk a bit about what to do if somebody in your life is not on board with your spiritual involvement. Uh, you came up this morning on one of my Zooms, you know, how should I go about this? Should I try to influence them and, and convince them? It's like, no, 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 no. And we've talked about this before. Change comes from inspiration, if it's meant to be inspired, not imposition. And so what's the best advice for that? Just be you. Do what makes you happy and healthy and fun. I see this all the time in my coaching. So many husbands don't get why their wives want to come to my social clubs and they bitch about the cost. But meanwhile, they're spending 30 grand a year on their golf memberships or their hunt clubs or whatever the heck it is. You know, if you want to go take horseback riding and it makes you happy, do it. Don't ask permission. What is this ask permission stuff? Yeah, you can't be frivolous about spending things, but... If you have a hobby that gets you excited, or if you have a newfound subject matter that you want to explore, do it and see where it takes you. And a real partner, like a real celebratory plus one, is going to be excited that there's something that's cheering you up or getting you riled up in a good way, right? Any partner that throws shade at you for doing something like this is afraid. Fear only comes from a lack of knowledge and maybe, oh no, they might change and then they might meet somebody like at the ashram and fall in love with the yogini and like, first of all, <laughs> the last thing I want in a plus one is somebody sitting in the front row with like, go Jen banners. Like I want a significant other that has their own hobbies and maybe they'll come to a thing now and then, but it's not an absolute, like you have to have your own passion separate from your spouse. You just have to. That's a healthy relationship. So don't gauge whether or not you should explore spirituality by whether or not your spouse is on board with it. They shouldn't control what makes you passionate. That's not a partnership. That's prison. So somebody out there needs to hear this today. Do what excites you, you know, within reason. Don't just get on a plane and go to Jamaica and never come home if you have three kids at home. Like, that's not responsible but you can read whatever books you want you can go on a zoom social club for 65 dollars if they're spending a thousand dollars a month on golf like do what you want to do and don't feel like you have to ask permission to be excited about something you know so i hope that helps for whoever might need to hear that out there uh, i celebrate all the expanded awareness that you're choosing to dig into and send me any emails with any questions that you might have um, to my website at jenweigold.com.